uh, first of all thanks for the opportunity uh, by ICA and uh, AI and ICA committee our uh, president vice chairman and AI uh, committee president and vice chairman and I'll uh, uh, share my screen and uh, start with my uh, presentation ஜினிபனியன் tool can be reached at uh, this given address and uh, let us talk about what this tool about so in my presentation i will be taking first few minutes to explain what is this and uh, example of how this can be utilized with a use case so first uh, this tool can be used to connect to your xls uh, csv or xlsb files or databases as well uh, basically our day in day out life uh, revolves around our uh, uh, excel um, uh, which is our uh, a go to tool for analysis so many times we need to know formulas uh, we need to know uh, uh, how to do complex things but uh, with the help of ai can we uh, take advantage and move faster so for me ai is nothing but 10x faster anything uh, so that's how we see so this helps simple onboarding of your data uh, all that needed is your data to be in a table format so it is like a column rows with headers uh next what should we do okay i have loaded my data what will we do ask your question about the data in the plain language and get real time insights uh, what you were what you wanted from the data from your data set next uh, so how this can be then uh, what are the things which i so i am asking questions what are the things i can do so first um, if you all familiar with power bi uh, tableau or uh, any other uh, data analytics tool uh, there are three portions to it one you have to do the etl that means extraction Uh, transforming the data and loading the data for analysis and then uh, for example in power play, power bi we use power query and then uh, in the front end we use dax to write the formulas for the visualization and then use the visualization tools the same here can be done just by our natural language so that is what uh, we are trying uh, we are we will be able to do with this tool uh second so we have done it's a web based tool um, we have seen the outputs it can be downloaded uh, the table the output is on the table i mean in the table format it can be downloaded as an excel but as a visualization it can be saved as a picture uh so one thing the tool offers us uh, the data security that means the data what we upload is not sent to any uh, large language models and number two uh, once you si sign out or close your session your data in the back end is also deleted so which means the data is never stored in anywhere else so quickly uh, oh, what are they offer them the pricing it's a two day free trial and then uh, per day it's 99 and uh, week it's 699 and uh, because we also need to know uh, how much it is affordable uh, then i am quickly uh, going into the uh, session think due to i'll just uh, bring the session just a second i'll uh, first uh, log out uh, because it was already logged in so this is the page uh, the genipro.org is the page where we can access since already i have an account here i'm signing in once we signing in uh, signed in uh, we will uh, be having a uh, sorry uh, uh, data guidelines how to do is the data genie so they say it's a uh, all the sheets should be in rows and columns and headers which i highlighted and uh, Uh, unnecessary data need not be there like you think about you feeding into a power bi or a data table or something like that uh, the columns uh, must have headers and better to avoid uh, errors uh, what we have understood and uh, data date fields so basically the data data types are three types so uh, the numbers uh, text and date so the date should not be error so these are the things which as uh, a guideline so let us quickly uh, load up uh, particular dummy file which i have created so once uh, we loaded we say upload so it says uh, file uploaded successfully 
now i have uh, multiple sheets but all i wanted to analyze is uh, the sales of 2023 sales of 2022 and then i have a expense report as well for right now i am using these two uh, uh, data so once i load the uh, particular sheets so it gives you a preview of what this sheet contains about so it gives the table uh, first few lines uh, to to know what what it is then quickly uh, i have uh, have the for the interest of the time given the time uh, i am trying to showcase the three things one is the etl portion the other one is the analysis the third one uh, is the visualization and the fourth one is the versatility so let us quickly get into the etl portion so i am asking etl here so generally many a times the data what we receive might not be in the format what we need uh, maybe the columns are uh, the, the data what we need are in columns not in rows so quickly i wanted to convert uh, the sales, uh, sorry, sorry for uh, uh, the navigation. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say here is my uh, sales value and metal cost value in columns. I need it in rows. So I also need it for the first top 10 customers. So unprivate the sales and material cost of the sales of the year 2022 uh, for the top 10 customers. So once I click, it uh, takes a couple of seconds. And now we have the data. So if you see here, it gives the top 10 customers and their sales value and then the material cost value one by one. So this is one example of uh, uh, the, the ETL data, your extraction, transformation and loading. So let us quickly move into uh, simple analysis. So I can ask uh, top five customers by sales and by region. So if I put it, Yeah, I think there is a problem with my data. Uh, so I'll move on to the next question. So here we are going a little bit complex. So where I want the sales percentage to total sales of the four top five customers, profit, their profit percentage, and percentage to total profit. Uh, generally, it takes uh, at least uh, uh, half an hour to one hour for to get the data clean and get all these informations. All we need is Try and give as much as details what you want in the um, um, page and it easily calculates, get the top five customers, its sales value, its profit value, um, percentage to sales, the total sales, the mix and percentage of profit and profit percentage to the total, I mean, profit value to the total, um, uh, the respective customer's profit value to the total profit. So if here, the interesting thing you have seen here is uh, the profit value. So if I go to back to the uh, original data set, it does not have a profit. So that means it's sales cost, sales value, and metal cost value. This is per unit, and this is value. So uh, where the date, uh, the AI anal anal analyzes and understands how to calculate uh, the profit, and it also calculates the way uh, percentages as well. So this is the complexity level next. So we go one more step. Okay, I'm getting... Uh, last two minutes. I mean. Yes, yes, just that. So also, as I said, I can click here, uh, the, the table will be downloaded and you can uh, uh, take it for your further analysis or share it with the team. Finally, uh, these two points, the trend analysis, the visualization. So what I'm asking is uh, from the table, if we see original table, the month name are, uh, there are two tables uh, um, for the year, two years. The month names are not properly given here, but I wanted to analyze by month uh, for the comparison between the these two years sales and also I wanted to properly sorted by April to March because we, in Excel we always encounter when we sort the month name it will not after April you will get August now I have also given that logic here so let us wait and see how uh, we get a uh, so in a fraction of a second it did the ETL it did it calculated the sales and it uh, calculated the 2022 sales here and given the color code of 2023 and by month it has sorted. So this is, this can be saved and uh, downloaded for a uh, sh shared for your uh, uh, further analysis. So now versatility, what happens is it is not about the same uh, uh, data it understands and do. So I have one more report, expense report. So it gives the data. And if I ask, uh, this is expense report. So by employees, I'm asking calculate top three employees from the expense report, uh, the amount along with their category of expenses, payment method and currency. So it's a lot too much to ask at a 
uh, given point in time. So in a fraction of second, it gives you these three, David Miller, Jason, and Stephen, and their travel category, their uh, uh, method of payment, they, what uh, currency they have used, and what is the value. So in short, uh, what I'm trying to say is we are uh, uh, having a tool which will uh, help you to uh, get rid of the barrier of uh, uh, non-technical, uh, I mean, the technology, right, so. technical side of it. So non-technical people can also just use by... Uh, their words and get the analysis done in fraction of a second. And thanks for the opportunity.